Well, you heard Tony just a few minutes ago. That was what everybody was worried about. But we've been lucky so far, just on and off drizzles. And clearly the rain chances have not discouraged everybody from coming to this lawn here outside of the Dr. Phillips Center. You can see the stage. It looks like a performance is about to start in just a few minutes. This is one of the last performers of the night. Uh, they're going to wrap up and then start this all over again tomorrow. It's important to note that many of these exhibits will wrap up at the end of next weekend, but all of the stage performers will only be on this weekend. Immerse springs back to life for the art festival's fifth year in downtown Orlando. We've seen really explosive growth over the last few years, um, not only in artist participation, but also in community attendance. Event staff say a thousand artists signed up to dance, vibe, and create works of art that observers can become a part of. We came to Immerse because, I mean, she loves watching ballet and ballet movies, so I just kind of wanted to come and expose her to all of that art and everything great about it. Immerse hosts two stages where dozens of performers will play over the weekend. One of the newest exhibits is this inflatable maze put on by a group called the Architects of Air. They sew together PVC to let colorful lights bleed through. The odd-looking exhibit towers above people on the Dr. Phillips Center lawn, but inside, guests walk through brightly lit chambers in awe. It's like a kaleidoscope and, and really cool like inflatable rooms where you could like walk up, take really cool selfies and pictures. Despite expected rain this weekend, organizers say the show will go on no matter what. We might expect a few rain delays, but our plan is to just keep powering through. Orange Avenue and parts of Pine, Church and South Streets will be closed this weekend for the annual festival. You can see the interesting performers that are on stage right now. I've never seen anything like this. The organizers here are recommending that if anybody plans to come to this event tomorrow, they should bring an umbrella or a raincoat or something to keep dry. We're live in downtown Orlando. Chris Guardaro, West 2 News. Next one.